Leslie William Green was an English architect best known for his design of iconic stations on the London Underground in central London during the first decade of the 20th century. His designs are distinctive, with grand oxblood red tile facades, semicircular first floor windows, and ornately patterned tiled interiors. In 1903, he was appointed to design stations for three underground railway lines, then under construction, which, respectively, became parts of the present day Piccadilly Line, Bakerloo Line, and Northern Line. He was then commissioned to design 50 new stations across London, many of which remain today. Despite quickly becoming a big name in the gloomy tube designing world of Edwardian London, relatively little is known about him and why he was so influential. I spoke to renowned tube expert Dave LeBoff to find out more. Much of his life actually remains hidden in obscurity. He had a very short life and he died tragically when he was 33, uh, which most historians seem to attribute to his stressful job, which was highly pressurised. He was born the 6th of February in 1875 in Maida Vale. He's the son of an architect. And after school, uh, he went and studied at the South Kensington School of Art. And after that, he went to Paris. And then finally, uh, at the age of 20, he returned to London to work for his father's firm. He already had a successful um, fair portfolio um, of successful work, although one that didn't really contain any large-scale projects. Uh, But what we see, I think, in my opinion, with Leslie Green is someone essentially just being in the right place at the right time. Because just as he was gaining respect in um, in the professional sphere, uh, Charles Tyson Yerkes comes to London and Yerkes, um, I mean, he was a transport mogul. He made enormous sums of money in America, um, specifically in, in New York. He created Chicago's whole public transport system. Uh, but in London, he sees the railways as a real opportunity to make money, as a, as a money-making venture. And he chooses Green to carry out this enormous project, uh, and to be honest, most historians aren't sure why this is, because there are lots of uh, very venerated architects around who had much more experience uh, than Green. But I think um, that what we see here is the first large scale use of corporate identity. And uh, at the time, the underground railways were all owned by private groups. But Yerke has changed all of that and it creates this vast stretch of tunnels, all of which have the same distinctive design. And these red blood stations are, for me, um, a show of power, really.